హలో అండ్ వెల్కమ్ టు పిఎస్ఎం స్పీక్ ఎంప్లాయీస్ ప్రావిడెంట్ ఫండ్ హైయర్ పెన్షన్ హైయర్ పెన్షన్ టు ది మెంబర్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎంప్లాయీస్ ప్రావిడెంట్ ఫండ్ హోప్స్ వర్ హై హోప్స్ వర్ రేజ్డ్ వెన్ దెర్ వాజ్ న్యూస్ బ్రేకింగ్ న్యూస్ ఆఫ్టర్ ది సుప్రీం కోర్ట్స్ జడ్జ్మెంట్ ఆన్ ఫోర్ నవంబర్ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ టూ ఫైవ్ మంత్స్ బ్యాక్ వెరీ అండర్ ఎంప్లాయీస్ ప్రావిడెంట్ ఫండ్ scheme those who are already retired and those who are working thought that their pension would be higher than what they are now getting or what they were going to get unfortunately uh, there was silence on the part of the government for quite a long uh, i think it has issued its first circular towards the end of uh, december but when the sir killer came they got uh, kind of disillusioned lot of disappointment the disappointment grew circular after circular in my previous videos i tried to explain the contents of the judgment of the supreme court three judges bench on employees provident fund pension what we call higher pension and there were doubts when there were doubts i tried to make another video questions and answers in fact uh, i have made uh, seven videos in fact eight if we include uh, one on the government employees pension also try to explain now the purpose of this video is to give a summary view and then what is now happening the latest on the higher pension uh, one way to look at uh, this the summary view what i thought is that looking at the main contents of these uh, circulars so for three circulars have come of course one uh, amendment also that's not very important so three circulars one press note and after that several members of parliament put questions to the government to get the government's view on this on the implementation of the supreme court's uh, judgment uh, if you look at them you will understand what is happening now and what is going to happen but before that i would like to clarify on one thing on the eligibility condition there are several conditions all right that the main eligibility condition is this that uh, those who contributed on their actual salary which was higher than the ceiling statutory ceiling so those who did not pay on the higher wages higher than the ceiling are not eligible not entitled for any higher pension than what they are now getting or what they are supposed to get linked to their ceiling this is one of the several conditions option and other things are there all right but this is the basic essential conditions if one doesn't belong to this category of uh, paying on higher wages i'm repeating is not eligible for any higher pension so let us look at the circulars one after the other as i said the first circular came on 29 december 2022 but this circular focused on part of the supreme court's judgment this related to the employees retired before 1st september 2014 those people you may remember this i explained before those coming under that gupta rc gupta case judgment before three judges benches verdict the two judges bench gave its verdict in rc gupta case so this is the one that relates to the rc gupta case going to some details that are given in this circular it pertains to those who contributed and are para 266 of employees pension scheme on salaries above 5000 and 6500 what is this para 266 of the scheme this is nothing but when the employees opted to pay on higher wages than the ceiling 
they should give an option the employees and employers because employers are required to contribute equally their contribution is important because 8.33 percent of the employers contribution goes to the pension fund so it is essential the option to pay higher is uh, given under 26 6 of the employees uh, provident fund scheme then those who exercise an option it is not enough if they say that we are go going to contribute on higher wages they should also say that we are doing this for the purpose of uh, pension they should give their option seeking higher pension also that is detailed under 11.3 of the employees pension scheme 1995 that means those who have given their option under 26.6 and also given their option under 11.3 and those options being declined by the employees provident fund authority they should give option and it should be declined if they accepted they get the pension they did not accept they did not get now they get so those who retired before 2014 september 1st those who gave their option under 26 6 for paying higher amount and those who gave their option under 11 3 seeking higher pension these are the people who are eligible and the circular gave several details including extraction of uh, pair of 5 44 5 6 and 9 the relevant one for this and sought options from the eligible within the given time that was uh, 3rd March I think this circular came first because this part of the judgment in the Supreme Court the Supreme Court said that it should be implemented within 8 weeks that 8 weeks deadline was coming close so in the December end this circular has come so people were waiting the others who retired after 2014 then came another circular when the employees thought that they were going to get benefit unfortunately this was further disappointment because this circular was not to give but it was to take back what was given to some of the employees because the employees provident fund organization felt that some of them were getting higher pension for which they were not entitled their claim was that which was detailed the circular after extracting the uh, Supreme Court's judgment 44, 5, 6 and 9 that those who retired before 1st September 2014 without exercising any option although they paid on higher wages and that is the reason why some of them got uh, higher pension so that pension is wrong that they shouldn't get that should be recovered from them and this circular and this circular directs the employees provident fund organization regional offices to stop paying higher pension from January 2022 to all those ineligible and to recover the excess amount paid to them so this is for recovering recovering the overpayment what it, it said not for allowing higher pension so this is the second important circular and the third circular that came on 20 February 2023 the important circular at that this again listed the relevant paragraphs of the Supreme Court's verdict 44 3 4 and 5 and this is uh, for those who had paid on higher wages than 5,000 and 6,500 before 1st September 2014 and they were members on 2014 1st September which means those continued after the old scheme so they are entitled for the new scheme and they should give their option a joint option covering both the old scheme 11.3 and the new scheme para 11.4 of employees pension scheme 1995 now in the original circular the date was uh, 
March 3rd was difficult for them because not much time left between the circulars and the so this press note gives time of course impliedly to all the extended time now is 3rd May 2022 to all those those who retired before 2014 and after then doubts remain and there was nobody to explain and clarify to the employees their difficulties so some of the members of the parliament put questions both in Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha. I have gathered few questions and answers to present to you. So let us quickly go through the salient points in the questions and the answers. You can see the texts here. In Lok Sabha, uh, Honorable Member Giridhar Yadav, uh, that was on 6 February 2023. The answer for his question, you, you can see the question, the important part of it I am taking here. When he sought to know if those who were appointed, those who became members after 1st September 2014, let's say new entrants, are they eligible for higher pension? The reply was no, new members are not entitled. Those recruited after 1st September 2014 are not entitled, not eligible for higher pension. This is one question which uh, we have been facing to my videos also, mostly uh, on my Telugu channel, Antarartham. Many asked this whether the new entrants are eligible. They are not. It is from horse's mouth, the government said in the parliament. Then on 13th February 23, uh, Honorable Members Giridhar Yadav and Dr. Poon Gautam Singamani, they asked, of course there are several things in the question, but one of them important which I want to bring to you is this, that uh, when in normal course, not this higher pension, any pension, employees provident fund pension, is to be settled within 20 days. The member asks, if it is not settled within 20 days, is the penal interest of 12% being paid to the members for the default? The answer was, yes, that provision is there under 17A of EPS 95 and the Provident Fund Commissioner concerned is responsible for that and for his default when everything is uh, proper before him and uh, if he or she, the commissioner is not uh, allowing pension within the given time, then penal interest to be collected from his or her salary. This is the answer. But one thing we should understand from this is that there is a stipulation that the pension should be cleared quickly. In any case, within 20 days, if uh, the claims are properly made is to be understood. Then in Lok Sabha, Kumbhakodi Sudhakaran, he too asked several things in this. But one important thing is this, that how much time do you require to implement the Supreme Court's judgment? Of course, there is no direct reply to this. And the exact date from which the employees can expect the higher pension. The employees have been waiting, the retirees. But when is this going to happen was the specific question. Then total number of uh, persons eligible under the Supreme Court's judgment for higher pension. For this also it has come out clearly that government doesn't have any data. The reply was that it will be known after the last date depending upon number of uh, persons exercise their option. So government doesn't have information as to how many people are going to get higher pension. Then again in Lok Sabha on 20 March 2023, Manikkam Tagore asked uh, uh, a question, you can see that here, on, uh, on higher pension. Here what is clearly answered is that uh, the date has been extended up to 3rd May 2023. So this applies to both set of employees retired before 1st September 2014 and after. Then uh, in Rajya Sabha, Dr. John Brittas asked how many are eligible? What is the quantum of money on account of higher pension? So the government doesn't know that. Again, the same reply that it would depend on the number of options it receives. And uh, by that date, 9th March uh, 2023, 
as many as 1,20,279 persons exercised their option and quantum will depend after final figures comes out and after verification we should understand this that how many are really eligible basing on the number of people who eligible for this the quantum will be known was the reply. Then in Rajya Sabha, Elamaram Kareem, he asked on uh, the concerns of the employees on the method of uh, submission and the difficulties faced and the difficulty to upload uh, option under 26.6, the document it is not possible for them. Then no clear response has come out of this question which means that the government is silent and then the problem remains. Again in Rajya Sabha, Honorable Members Shenmugam and Vaiko on 23 March 2023, they asked on the government's response to the queries of some companies who expressed the difficulty in exercising the option. For this also there is no reply. Then another part of the question is uh, whether the government is uh, thinking of uh, raising the minimum pension. The reply was the minimum pension was raised in 2014 to 1000 rupees and there is no proposal to increase it now. We can understand from this. So finally we can understand that the confusion remains, doubts remain, difficulties remain, the number of persons who are going to get benefit is not uh, as many as uh, the employees thought in the beginning because exercising of option is in one case important and in another case that option to be rejected and refused and proof. So it is a tough job, it is a big challenge particularly to the retired, the senior citizens. So we wonder if government can think seriously. This channel appeals to the government on behalf of the senior citizens to have some sympathy and empathy for the retired persons. Government appoints many committees. Here also it can appoint one committee with experts in this. Experts like some retired provident fund commissioners, representative of uh, the employees covered under employees provident fund scheme and other experts asking the committee to submit its report within 15 days identifying all the problems in the process of submission of uh, options exercise of options this is the challenge and this is the answer and finally to suggest to the government and to the provident fund organization to come out uh, with a such a procedure as to government and the provident fund itself coming out with the details, setting of any dues that are from employees out of the areas due to them. Because they have all the details with them, they can, there are some companies which are no more existent. If we ask the employees to get the 26.6 and the proof from the employer, the employer is also non-existent and most of the people do not even remember whether they paid on higher wages or not. This is a tough challenge, difficult task for them. It is just impossible. So without asking these options, whoever are eligible, let the employees provident fund organization itself decide and start paying the higher pension after adjusting any dues from the employees if they are from out of the areas that are due to them or from the future payment of pension. That makes life easy. Hope the government will have some empathy, sympathy for the retired senior citizens. Thank you so much for so patiently watching this uh, video. Hope you have subscribed to this channel already. If you have not done it already, please do it now. It is free. But it greatly encourages me to present to you more videos of this type. Thank you very much. Thank you.